Who is eligible for CAR T cell therapy? So CAR T cell therapy has been a fantastic addition to our armamentarium against myeloma. But right now, I don't think everyone can get CAR T cells because of the toxicity piece mostly. I would say that for standard of care, patients who have had at least four lines of therapy, so four different times that they've had change of therapy, is required for both our new products that have come out. And usually it's patients that have to have an ECOG performance status of zero to one. So these are patients that are you know, otherwise doing really well and healthy. I will say that when it's standard of care, we have some patients that maybe aren't in that ECOG zero to one, maybe two. And again, patients whose kidney functions and liver function and heart function are, are relatively okay. Because again, it's a toxicity piece. And hopefully as we learn more and more, we'll be able to get more patients on. For clinical trials, there's a you know, hard stop in terms of you have to have um, ECOG of zero to one, your platelets have to be greater than 50 to 100, your neutrophil count has to be greater than one, your platelets have to be greater than 50, or your um, hemoglobin has to be greater than eight. So there's a lot more in terms of eligibility criteria with, with trials, they're a lot more strict. Um, however, instead of four lines, we have trials that are now doing you know, CAR-T in the second, third line, up front, combination with other drugs. Um, so both Idacel and Siltacel have multiple um, trials that they're looking at different time points. So we're excited about one that's gonna come out in Europe um, that they're gonna look against transplant versus CAR-T for Siltacel, that'll be really exciting. And then in the US, we have trials looking at CAR-T maybe right after transplant. Um, so a lot of data, hopefully in the next uh, couple of years that we'll learn a lot more from. Right now for commercial CAR-T cell products, they're being used after other conventional therapies have failed. In particular, most patients have to have failed proteasome inhibitors, um, they have to have failed IMIDs and CD38 monoclonals. In the context of studies, CAR T cell therapies are being moved earlier and earlier in the treatment paradigm. In particular, there are studies looking at high-risk patients using CAR T cells earlier in the treatment paradigm, and also in studies that are looking to replace autologous transplant with CAR T cells. Are there any age restrictions that may exclude an individual from CAR T therapy? These are by far lower doses of chemotherapy than what we use in transplant conditioning, which also allows us to address the average age group that these diseases are common in. So we routinely treat with CAR T cells people older than 70, and we've treated a number of patients older than age 80. And the registry data in the United States at least shows that patients up to age 91 have been treated with CAR T cells. So we have no concern in doing this in older individuals, and we do not use age as a barrier or as a parameter for eligibility or whether it's appropriate to use CAR T cells. Besides the label indication FDA eligibility criteria, what other things should be considered before going forward with CAR T therapy? Eligibility criteria of how the patient is, whether you, you think that patient would be eligible for CAR-T or not is based on the patient factors, the disease factors, and the treatment-related factors. What I meant to say is that the, somebody is, how old is the patient, how, how is the performance status of the patient, you know, what are the other comorbidities the patient has, what kind of disease burden the patient has, is the disease relapsing very fast or the disease relapsing slowly, and what are the other treatment-related issues the patient has, what the prior toxicities this patient has. If the patient has baseline kidney dysfunction, the patient has baseline neurological dysfunction. So these are the that things needs to be factored into account in addition to the eligibility, the, what is the label has been mentioned. Uh, and that is how we decide the eligibility of the patient for the CAR-T.